between 5 to 10 miles per hour, and we have an overnight low of 44 degrees. So much better than those lower 30s. I know waking up to those temperatures in a very, very chilly zone is a hard start to the day. As for our overnight lows, we are going to be still in those lower 40s all across West Michigan. Kalamazoo, your overnight low will be 43 degrees, and Holland around 47. So as for a Monday planner, we are going to see mostly sunny skies for the majority of the day. A little bit more cloud cover towards the afternoon and evening, and our sunrise will be at 726 in the morning tomorrow. Winds are also still going to be breezy tomorrow as we see those high temperatures reaching, returning rather, to the low 60s. 62 degrees in Grand Rapids tomorrow and 64 degrees in Kalamazoo. So our future track shows mostly sunny skies. You need the sunglasses for tomorrow morning as you're headed to work. Cloud cover will be returning for the late evening hours. Starting off your Tuesday mostly cloudy, but the chance for some rain will return for the late afternoon and evening hours. Any rain on Tuesday night will be very limited, but that's quickly going to change by Thursday as we have another system that's going to be moving through West Michigan. A little bit of lull and precipitation for the middle of Friday before another round of colder air sweeps in late in the evening hours, bringing the chance for rain, snow and mixed precipitation, turning over to lake effect rain and snow for Saturday and Sunday. On top of it with this system, it is going to be very windy, especially on Thursday, where we could have wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So as for a seven day outlook, we're going to see a high temperature of 62 degrees for Monday. This is our last very warm day, at least of the seven day outlook by Tuesday, a high of 57 degrees and the chance for a few evening showers. It's not going to accumulate to much between now and even Tuesday evening. It's really mainly going to develop under a half an inch for parts of the locations closer to I-94. Looking ahead for the rest of the forecast, we're going to watch that cooler air sweeping into West Michigan and allowing for temperatures to really take a dive on Friday. Our high temperature on Friday is actually 47 degrees, but that's our warmest part in the beginning of our Friday. Temperatures are going to drop throughout the day, allowing for the chance for potentially even some rain and snow by next weekend, along with it, that lake effect with a high of only 39 degrees on Sunday. So stay tuned to Fox 17 for your latest forecast. We'll keep you updated right here and online.